Hey everybody, I hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is event. Event. Now probably one of the more famous passages in Ecclesiastes is used uh, in a lot of different situations. And the reason it is is because it talks about, you know, almost really what event is today. What is it that you're going to face today? Because in life, there are going to be good days. There's going to be bad days. It's going to be days that we have to decide to do, you know, to go left. There's one day we have to decide to go right. And, and, and with that, it's never a case of we're deciding to go against God or with God. That's not what he's talking about. It, the idea is that every day we have different struggles, different storms, different challenges, and different choices that we make. There's different seasons. We go through good times and bad times. And, and, and usually, you know, you hear people talk about we're either, you know, in a valley or you're on a mountain. And really the time in between, you're either coming out of the valley or you're coming down off the mountain or, you know, getting ready to go into a valley. It, it's, it's kind of, you never really stay in one or the other. It's always a transition time. And, and that's not a depressing thing, but what it is is to let us know that we can expect these things. And Solomon, in his wisdom, he kind of warns us or lets us know, gives us a, a very clear picture of basically 14 different opposites today in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And, and if you know how important the number of seven is in Scripture, it's, it's something to think about that here are seven things or, or seven times, seven pairs of opposites to give us those 14 different ones. And, and here's where we're going to start. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and we'll just read verses 1 through 8 today. And it says, To everything, so to every event, there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to gain, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate a time of war, and a time of peace. And you think about that with just that clear picture, you know, from life to death, there, there is something each and every day that we have to face that's different than the day before. And, and you say, yeah, but I've had the last few days have been bad, or the last few weeks, or the last few months. But see, if we look, there's still been days where you were rejoicing, days where you were weeping, days where you, you felt like dancing and days where you felt like just sitting down and, and avoiding everybody. Days where you, you, know, you were confident in sharing love with others and, and other days where it was kind of like, uh, I think if I try to share that, it's not going to be accepted. And that's, it's, it's so many different things that we face and, and it's really easy to get discouraged when we we live only in the moment. Now, I know this week we've talked about being there in the moment, and, and that is true as well. But let's remember that this moment that we're in is not going to last for an eternity. Our eternity is in heaven. That's why Solomon has said here in Ecclesiastes that God has placed eternity in our hearts. We should have a longing desire for him a longing desire to spend an eternity with him in heaven. That's why he's placed eternity in our hearts. And if we try to fill that void, I, I love using the analogy of that being him placing eternity in our hearts as a God-shaped hole in our lives. And the only thing that will fill it is God. And the problem is, and this is kind of what Solomon is speaking to throughout why everything's vanity, it's when we try to take everything else, even well-intentioned things, trying to take our jobs, our, our families, our responsibilities, and, and even the things that we maybe enjoy, hobbies, we try to take all of those things and shove them in, in the God-shaped hole, and it doesn't fit. The only thing that fits is Him. So when we realize that He's placed that in our hearts, and we realize our desire has to be for Him, then we realize that whatever time, whatever event we are in today, 
is only temporary. Now, let me say that again. Whatever event you are facing today is only temporary. Because all the things on this earth are going to pass away. Behold, he's going to make all things new, already making all things new. There's coming a day when all of this is going to disappear. It's going to, have a, it's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. So let's not focus so much on the moment or the events of the day. Yes, be thankful for them. Be grateful. Enjoy it as we talked about yesterday. But let's remember that there is a time for everything. And this time will pass. So let's keep our focus on the time to come. God bless you. And I pray you have a great, great day.